So we start to uh, get a whole bunch of suggestions in for to make the calls. Definitely keep it up, man. Definitely keep it up. I really do appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? But if you guys want more, you know, going into the new year and everything, because this probably might not come out until after the new year anyway. But if you want more, continue to get at me, man. Hit me up in the Gmail. Hit me up in the DM. You guys want to know more about Make the Calls? Well, send me whoever you want me to call, and I'll bring it right to you. Let's get it started. What's up, everybody? Lockout Man back again with another video. And in this episode, it is the MTC edition of the Lockout Man podcast. Yes, this is the episode where I make the calls for you. You know what I'm saying? You want to know about a company? You're interested about a company that you want to get with? Yo, let me know who they are, and I will get them on the show. Now, before we get into all of this, if you like what I'm doing over here, make sure you smash that like button, punch that like button, hit that like button, let, let people know that you rock with us. If you want to help get this content out to people that might be interested in the companies that I call, yo, share it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, hit that bell and that all button, and more so subscribe. If you want to help out the channel, you can buy it, you can join at any time. You know what I'm saying? So in this episode, we're going to be talking about or we're going to be talking to tribe transportation. All right. So you guys wanted me to call tribe express and that's what we got on the that's what we got on deck right now tribe express they're located out of gainesville georgia yes sir they are a georgia company they are a company that's owned by a native american female uh when i talked to the recruiter or i think he was operations manager the recruiter was off for whatever reason but the operations manager said that it's a husband and wife team uh and yes you'll be able to get to meet the woman that owns the company the face of tribe transportation let's head over to the bit board to see a little bit more about tribe transportation come where quality and reliability meets value uh, by the numbers, they transported 15 billion pounds of product, uh, traveled over a distance of 236 million miles. And as a tribe, it's 500 families strong. They said, why want to drive with us? At Tribe, family, friends, and faith are our core values. We treat our drivers like we would treat our own family because they are. We love to have you join the tribe they got state-of-the-art equipment which is t680s uh the entire fleet is of kenwood they have the, every truck has an apu on board an inverter a mini fridge and satellite tv the tv itself you have to provide uh plus he says it's double bunks and it also has a driver cam just to let you guys know uh consistent miles uh, our drivers rank in the highest category of average miles per week, and you can expect the same when you're working with the tribe. Guaranteed raises. They got guaranteed raise uh, raise scale, empowering, empowering you to feel secure in the ability to work with one company for a number of years of success. Drive solo or together. So yes, you know, I, I you know something else that I should have asked them if they have lease purchase. But go ahead and ask them when you give them a call. Uh, drive solo or a team or with another driver. If you don't have some, if you don't have someone in mind, we offer team matchmaking, bringing two solo drivers together. And yes, they do have owner operators. You, if you're owner operator, you can come and lease on with uh tribe transportation they have pharmaceutical logistics uh let's see what else they got a nice website by the way 
They have temperature control, expedited pharmaceutical, and intermodal and freight logistics. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else about this company? Let's see. Let's go to the about page. Uh, a Native American woman-owned transportation business headquartered just north of Atlanta in Gainesville, Georgia. They was founded in 2005. Tribe Express is one of the fastest growing minority character. I mean, carriers in North America outfitted with state-of-the-art equipment. They specialize in deep frozen and temperature controlled transportation with single and expedited services. Now, the website looks good. Talking to the recruiter was good. But let's see what some of the drivers have to say about Tribe Express. Let's go to Indeed, where we can find some of the reviews. Their overall ranking is two out of five. Is that good though? Is that good? 12 reviews from 12 truck drivers. This one right here says it's one. They're not truthful. It's about who you know. This company is all about who you know, not your job performance. Most office personnel are good people. Management is a whole different story. I have never been deceived more anywhere than this company right here. This driver right here gives it a five. He said this is by far one of my favorite companies to work for. This one gives it a four. Excellent company had accommodation uh, communication problems with the dispatch team. Very nice equipment to provide for their employees. The maintenance on their equipment is exceptional. This one is a one, but it's blurred out. One tribe do not care about their employees. One tribe, I mean, no good. Avoid tribe. Good job. Great company. Never getting home. Cutthroat and stressful. Wow. Man. Um, but again, you know, like I said, I asked the I asked the uh recruiter what's his thoughts about, you know, disgruntled drivers. And it's pretty much it is what it is. You know, they'll go there, they'll they, you know, for whatever reason they get terminated or fired or they quit for whatever reason and then they'll run over to indeed and definitely put their opinions out there so you gotta you gotta mesh mush push all that stuff into play all right all right so on that note let's jump in to the call tribe recruiting hey what's going on bro how you doing this morning pretty good man how about you I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right, man. Um, my name's Sean. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm doing my, you know, I'm doing my research on uh, on trucking companies out here. And being like, that, I, I and, got you. and being that I'm being that I'm in a Facebook group, uh, Tribe Express pretty much came up in the conversation. So, I was just wondering if uh, if I can have a moment of your time to find out a little bit more about the company, so I could take it back with me to my to my Facebook group. Yeah, yeah, man. All right. What you want to know? Awesome, awesome. All right, so of course my name's Sean. I'm a five year driver. Yes. Um, gotcha. Can you give me a Can you give me a brief background about the company? Because before you start on that, I would like to say some of the trailers that you guys got uh got decked out is nice. By the way, yeah, it is. It is. So yeah, nice, man. That's something we that's something we take pride in for sure. I mean, you know, rolling up in there to a customer, you know, it always looks good. You know new you know good looking equipment so that's what we that's what we try to do so exactly. um i mean we started in two, 2010 you know um and we've grown you know up to right you know i mean to, just of i mean probably total drivers are probably up to around about 450 right now um like i said we do all 48 states um do you have any endorsements uh i have my tankers and my yeah, hazmat yeah. okay Okay. Oh, that's perfect. That's what I like to hear. So we just started, um, we're going to start, we've increased our lane volume with Coke Cola. We do a lot of, um, hazmat loads. It's like the lowest form of hazmat there is. It's like the little CO2 cartridges for the little drink machines and the 
Okay. You know, in the fast food places, you know, they come out right there. So everything's palletized in boxes. Um, but we do a lot out of, um, at all still Georgia that goes all over the place out of Fort Worth, Texas that goes all over the country. So okay. that's something we're looking for. We'll definitely, if you do have your hazmat, that's definitely an increase in cent per mile. And then you, for each hazmat load you do, you get extra pay as well. I know on the, you know, on the trailer, the, the, the big, the biggest tagline on there, it says that is a, that is a native owned, uh, owned by oh. a woman. Is that, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Is, is that true? <laughs> would yes, I would I yeah. actually would I actually be able to meet the woman behind uh Tribe yeah. Express? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, she's I mean she's out here she works I mean they they it's a husband and wife. But yeah, but she they all work out here in the in the, the war room we call it. But yeah, I mean she they're both here for oh, sure. Okay. So yeah, definitely. Okay. No, don't get me wrong. I, I I was just saying that because you know how they yeah. how trucking companies like to use right. you know, like to use no, taglines yeah. and sometimes it's not right. that, you know, not the real right. case. Um Yeah. All right, so let's say after I get finished with all my, you know, get uh application, get approved mm-hmm. and all like that. Mm-hmm. Uh mm-hmm. how would I get the how would you guys get me the orientation and what would I need to no. bring with me to orientation? Where where do you live? I'm out of Ohio. Ohio, yeah. I mean, more than likely, if you're comfortable with it, we probably either you know either fly you out or you know you know rent your car or something like that. Oh, okay, okay, awesome, awesome. So whatever, yeah, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with, yeah, we'll get you down here. And then there, there, there's a whole little uh, email that we send. I mean, just to bring into what to bring. You know, obviously, just you know, you'll be you know orientations Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It's a full two days on Monday and Tuesday, and it's a half a day on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Um, but we have a little email we send out this stuff to bring with you, like a blank check and. You know, social security card. You know all that stuff. You'll, you know, what I'm saying just the stuff that you need to, you know, to fill out for have, you know, for HR and all that stuff like that. But there's an email that we sent to you to tell everything to bring with you. So. Gotcha. What about uh, what about That's pre, me. what about pre-employment screening? Is it is it urine, drug, uh, urine, hair follicle, and do I right. do I take it before it's, I get there or do I? No, well, you'll we'll do it here. Oh, okay. You yeah, do it here. Yeah, it's just a urine. Yeah, it's just a pee in a cup. So okay, okay. So, all right. So let's uh, let's get into the nitty gritty of things, man. Like you know, on the low end of me coming in, uh, coming in with you guys with five years experience. On the low end, you know, I'd, I'd probably make like about forty five forty five grand. But what would part? What could you tell me if you could? Would be my uh, annual income, if possible, at a five. Well, as far as annual, I don't, I don't know how to do the do the math or whatever, but I mean, basically with the, I mean, I'd have to run your background. So you'd be anywhere from this cent per mile, you'd be anywhere from probably like, you know, um, 45 to 47 cents per mile. And obviously, like I said, do attention to your hazmat, make sure that we would, you know, could increase that as well. But, um, but I mean, I mean, it's up to you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I try to I'll try to at least average, you know, between 25 and 3000 miles a week. That's where we'd like to be at average. Okay. You know what I'm saying obviously that doesn't, you know what I'm saying? So, as long as you know how to maximize your time, you know, do your time. I mean, you know, I mean, there, there shouldn't be any, any issue you making, you know, 50, 60 grand a year. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, with that. So, but, I, but that's all up to you. You know what I'm saying? Obviously maximize your time, you know, getting, you know, doing everything, you know, I mean, it can be done. You know what I'm saying? Okay. For sure. So come, so coming in with, with my experience, with my endorsements and everything, I can make anywhere up to in the fifties or, or in the I'm sure. Yeah. Days. I mean, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you can make yeah with the fifty. I'm sure, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Uh you guys ten yes, you guys ten ninety nine or W two? We're W two, yeah. All right. What other what what other what other uh payouts that I would get, like detention, holiday pay, layover? Uh there's no holiday pay, yes. There are layovers. Obviously anything over twenty four hours is is a layover. Uh, detention, as long as everything is documented properly, you have to document on your bills and your own time and all that stuff like that. It's after three hours. You get the three, three, three hours. Anything after three hours, you can, you know, qualify for de- detention. As long as, as long as everything's filled out properly, you know, paperwork wise. All right. So you just said about uh, the miles. So the miles fluctuate. So you pretty much can't guarantee me three thousand miles a week. Right. I mean, that, that, that's the plan. That's the goal. You know, if it works out that way, but that, that's where we try to, you know, try to be, be at, you know, between 25 and 3,000 average per week. So obviously, you know, in my, I mean, so say you did, you started on a Monday, you know what I'm saying? So Monday, Monday is the end of the pay period at midnight. Mm-hmm. All right. So say you picked up a load on Monday, you know, you drove wherever. 
say you drove to Illinois, all right? So okay. it's the same delivery Wednesday morning. You know what I'm saying? So obviously that, that the load is on the, ne- on the next pay period. But then say we load you at Illinois, say we sent you to California, and it didn't deliver till just, you know, just random to say to deliver till Tuesday. So obviously that wouldn't be on the pay period. But even though you still get those miles, it would be on the next pay period. So you'd be a little short that week. But obviously the next pay period is where, where you'll gain everything back. So I mean, that's, that's what we say an average, you know what I'm saying? Just to, that sometimes it just falls different, you know, with the pay period. But on average, we try to be, you know, between twenty five and 3000 where we try to be out. All right. Any pet and wider policy there? Yeah, we, got, we have both. Yes. Okay. What about uh? What about home time? Would I would I be able to take the truck home with me? Yeah, as long as you got a safe place to park. Yes, and you know, can stay you know stay with your trailer, stay hooked to it. You know, you got a safe place, well lit. You know, safe place to park. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Now, would that be now? Let me ask you this: Do you guys got like regional lanes or something like that where a person could be home every week, or is this uh, or is this an OTR deal that I'll be coming into? It would be where you live at. I mean, we do have some stuff, but it's in the southeast and uh, in Texas that we have you know, regional, but right now we don't have anything in the Midwest. So, I mean, as of right now, you know, make a change in the future, but just as of this right this minute, yeah, I mean, it'd be, it'd be over the road. All right. So what? basically what we do is, um, for home time, we essentially what we do, you know, is a, you're out a week, you get a day at home. So if you're out for three weeks, you know, three days, you know what I'm saying? Four weeks, four days. Um, that's a general rule of thumb. Obviously, you know, there are some exceptions to that, but that's just the, you know, the general rule that we have. Okay. Okay. So, I- I can I can run the southeast. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I know that you could, but as far as being home, let's say you know what I mean, higher. That's a, you know, it's a different. You know what I'm saying? So oh, we just okay. want to be able to get you home. That, okay. that, that, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Right. Uh, all the equipment, yeah. you know, of course, uh, all the equipment. Do you have anything other than uh, T six eighties there, or or they are T six eighties? They're all T six eighties, yes sir. Uh, what their outfit uh, with like, what's the amenities in the truck? Uh, I mean, you have APU, there's an inverter, you know, there's um, the refrigerator, there's a place where you can mount a TV, you know, it's got two bunks in there. I can't remember how big the bunk is. I'll have to look that up. I can't remember what that is. But, okay. What uh, about what about a driver yeah. camera? Y'all, y'all got a driver camera? Yes, there. Yes, sir. Yes, All right. Sir, what about uh, now? Let me ask you this: What what about uh, the the computer system for us to get our dispatches? What is it, PeopleNet or uh, right now? It's PeopleNet. We're actually in the process of changing over to OmniTrax. Uh-huh. In the next, hopefully, in the next year, we'll have them all switched over. We're in the process. We have not started yet, but we're in the process of doing that. But as of right now, it's PeopleNet. Oh, okay, okay. The the Qualcomm's from OmniTrack. Correct. Right? Oh, yes, okay. That's where we're. Yeah, that's where we're eventually going to go. We're, we're in the process of doing that, but it's not. Yeah, I'm familiar all the way in, but that's. Yeah, I'm yeah. familiar with. I'm familiar with both of them. Um. All right. Okay. What will be the What will be the driver to fleet manager uh ratio there? Like, if I call, if I have a problem, and I call my fleet manager, uh, how long would he, how long do you think it'll take to get a response back? Would it be like right away? Would I have to wait? Yeah, you're talking about a phone call? I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, that's, they have two phones. You know, obviously, if they're on both or on one, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, it very, I mean, it should be right then and there. You know what I'm saying? You know, or just, all, you know, if she's on the phone, you know, wait till handle that, then get back, you know what I'm saying? Put you on hold until she gets off the phone. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But yeah, but the, yeah, but it should be, yeah, because there, there's usually about, I mean, it's, it's different depending on experience, but anywhere, most driver managers have anywhere between 25 and 30 drivers. Okay. All right. So what, right now. what yeah. about, what about felons? Do you guys uh, take drivers with felons uh, that have felonies? Um, it's, it should be a case by case basis. Honestly. I mean, I don't, I don't know of any offhand, you know, to be honest with you, but it would be on a, you know what I'm saying? It's something I have, you know, it'd be a case by case basis. All right. Us. Well, my last question, well, probably close to the last question, but my last question is like driver safety, man. You know, 2020 has been a tumultuous year for just about everybody that's, you know, that's in the industry right now. And I was just looking at how how many drivers was in some incidents earlier this year. So I was just kind of wondering because I know some companies, they don't allow us to, you know, carry our own personal protection. But what do you guys do for? you know, to, to help your drivers out as far as being safe if they don't want to go into areas that they deem unsafe? 
Well, I mean, like I said, in, in a reasonable amount. I mean, I'm not had any places where you know where it's happened. We definitely you know provide you with masks or whatever whatever that you need. But I mean, just me personally, because I'm I'm actually in operations. So I mean, I actually had the original recruiter. He's actually on vacation this week. So, mm-hmm. um, but I'm just help, helping him help or filling in. But I mean, I, I I personally we've never had anybody that's you know what I'm saying. I, I mean, at one point in time, New York City somewhere a little. I mean, we don't force anybody to go. I'm just using that example. Um, that's the one I could think of off the top of my head that some people were reluctant to go or go through. But I mean, like I said, I mean, you would have been in the truck, you know, you're going through there, so you're not even getting out of the truck. But, um, I mean, we try to, if something you didn't feel comfortable in, somebody could, you know, try to figure, you know, at least talk about, you know what I'm saying? If there's something you really didn't feel comfortable with or, or anything like that, we could see what we could do if there's anything we could do. You know what I'm saying? So we wouldn't force you to do anything you didn't want to do. You know what I'm saying? But within reason, you know what I mean? So, so, so no force dispatch there. Well, no, no, no. There is force dispatch. The only place we don't force anybody to go to is, is the city. I'm just saying, we, I mean, if, I'm talking about you talking about being safe or something with COVID, you know what I'm saying, COVID or whatever, you know what I'm saying? That's, mm-hmm. that, that's what I mean. So if there's something, you know what I mean, if, 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 if within reason, you know what I mean? Because I just personally, just doing this whole time, we've not had anybody. I mean, we had some, we just had tall that may have been, you know, just hesitant, you know what I'm saying, to oh, go okay. or to do. But I mean, I've never had anybody. You know, they just didn't want to go. Period. So, because I mean, basically everybody's good. You know, got a mask. Obviously, in some places, you know, they require you to do the temperature checks. You know, and all that like that. So, I mean, I think a lot of the places have, you know, are, are, are safe or safe as they can be. You know, what I'm saying. So, okay. Okay. All right. That's what's yeah. up. Well, you know, thank yeah. you. I, I really do appreciate uh, appreciate the time yeah, for uh, uh, talking Absolutely. to me about about the company, man. Yeah. What's the uh, What's the turnover rate there? I mean, it's like anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? I mean, people get, you know, you know, drivers that come in and, you know, they get mad at one little thing. They want to leave. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we got some guys that have been here, you know, the whole time with us. We've been here, you know, there's like five or six guys have been here the whole time with us. So, I mean, I mean, I'm going to get straight up with you. I mean, it's like it's like it is anywhere else. I mean, we're definitely trying to, we'll do everything we can to keep you. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you're you're willing to work, a lot of guys, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they just want to be straight up with you. They just want to hold a steering wheel. You know what I'm saying? Just try to, you know. But some guys, you know, they they have legitimate reasons. That's what we try to try to work with. You know, what I'm saying if you don't get along with your with your driver manager or something like that, within reason, you know, we'll, we'll you know we'll get you another, you know, switch your DM or whatever, just or whatever it may be. You know, we're definitely not just gonna, you know, just let you go willy nilly. Especially if you're, you know, you're willing to work and you're out there, you know, doing what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? So. I got you because you know, as I'm as I'm, you know, doing my research. Of course, I go on Indeed and I see all these. Right. I mean, you know, people, you know, people, you know, man. I, if you've been to, I don't even been to five years, but I mean, I've been doing this for eight years. But you know, people, you know what I'm saying? People, you know, anybody that gets mad or whatever, going to go in there and write something. You know what I'm saying? Just they get they're, they're feeling hurt or whatever. You know what I mean? So. All right. But. Well, definitely. But, yeah. I mean, you can just find that way anywhere. But yeah. I appreciate yeah. you taking the time out, yeah, man. man. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, sir. Hey, what was your What was your name again? Shine. Sean, gotcha. Yes, cool. Well, listen, man. I mean, I'd I really encourage you if you. I mean, I do at least go at least fill out an app. You know, on there, drivetrans dot com. At least you know, at least get you the system and. You know what I mean? If we can make it work, I'd like to make it work for sure. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate that. Thank yeah, you man. very much. Ten four. Tribe transportation, everybody. Man, good conversation. Uh, Trap transportation. Uh, let me let me see if I can uh, get a little bit about Tribe. Uh, oh, that's their that's their website right there. That's their website. I'm trying to I'm trying to get their website up for you guys so I can at least give you the give you the address and everything where they're where they're located and all that good stuff. Uh Gainesville, Georgia. That's where they're located at. If you want to give uh Tribe Express a call, you can uh call them at 877-628-6285. Uh, you can also go on their website, tribetrans.com. Tribe Transportation, a Native American woman-owned business. So uh, what do you guys think of the call, man? I mean, you know, like I said, I try to keep it short and sweet and to the point. If you have your endorsements, that's what they're looking for. You can make anywhere in the in the high 50s uh cent per mile if you don't have your endorsements it's anywhere between 45 and 48 cent 
a mile. Mark over at Trucking Answers uh, spoke on cent per mile. And I kind of agree with him on that, but this is trucking. It's, it's not going to change. There's a few trucking companies out here that's offering uh, salaries. There's a couple of them that's offering uh, uh, base pays and stuff like that, that you'll get paid for everything that you do. That's driving the truck, fueling, pre and uh, pre and post trip, going into the shippers and receivers, talking to them, uh, of course, being held up. You would get paid across the board. But of course, like I said, this is trucking and I don't see any of that changing anytime soon. So uh, when the wheels turning, you're making money. If the wheel's not turning, and if you're in a situation, then you might be making a little bit of money, all right? So 45 to 48 cent a mile without endorsements. With endorsements, you probably might get a little bit more. As far as uh, anything else, of course, they got nice trailers. Like I said, they're trailers. They decked out their trailers. It looks nice. If you ever seen one of these uh, trucks on the road pulling one of their trailers, you will see the Big Feather uh, Tribe Express in big letters, bold letters and all like that going down the highway. But they also have some trailers that is real decked out, and it looks really nice. Equipment goals, of course, they're all T680s. I believe they're automatic. Again, this company tries to look out for you. Um, he says that there's a couple of people, you know, we are, the couple of people had talked ill about the company, but, you know, two each is on. And plus, you got to take everything with a with a gain of salt. So Tribe Express, everybody, if you're interested in Tribe Express, again, like I said, the phone number is 877-628-6285. Uh, give them a call and see what Tribe Express can do for you. Well, that's it for this episode of Lockout Man Podcast, the MTC edition. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening. If you like content like this or more, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, hit that bell. Make sure you put some pressure on that like button. You know what I'm saying? If you like what I'm doing over here, support the cause, man. The coffee app and the cash app is in the description below. If you have any suggestions, get them out there. The best way to do it is to get at me on the Instagram and hit me up in the DM and say, yo, lock, lock out. I, I, I'm interested in this company or interested in that company. Let me know what company that you're interested in and I will probably get them on the show. All right. So with that said, Everybody, you guys take it easy, and I will come back with another Make the Call video. Peace. Searching, 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 and searching, searching, searching. searching.